can't wait to see maybe a little bit of sun, Caitlin, but it's going to be a little bit into today, right? Yeah, I think this morning is certainly going to have a lot more clouds around. We still actually even have a few light snow showers left over. Obviously, they've taken a big break since last night and yesterday, so that is some good news, but we're still going to find a few of those left over this morning, especially in the mountains. Roads still aren't that great either after the snow last night and yesterday, so something to have in mind for the morning drive. But eventually, those showers and any clouds, of course, with them will start to break up and move out, and that is some great news for this afternoon. In the meantime, here it's 29 in Burlington, 27 Middlebury. Most of us sitting in that mid and upper 20 range to start, which is above average. And by the rest of the afternoon, not a huge climb in temperatures. We're still only in the low 30s for the afternoon, but the sun, I think, will help because it is going to gradually come out from about midday through the afternoon and evening, especially. North wind is lighter than yesterday to only around 5, 10 miles per hour. So, so here is that sun coming out. Clouds, again, stubborn this morning, but slowly starting to break up as the morning goes on. And by this afternoon, a good amount of that short lived, though, because overnight clouds are going to start to move back in ahead of our next system. This system is a lot quicker than the last one, which is great news, but it is going to be a, a little messy. Let's talk about the timing here first. I think in the morning, no major accumulation or significant accumulation for the morning drive, maybe just a few light showers. But shortly after that, all the way through midday, obviously those showers become more widespread. Mainly some probably wet snow, I think, is what most of us will get. However, as temperatures do climb above freezing in the Champlain Valley, you're seeing some greens here in the lower terrain, and that will allow some rain to mix in or some very wet snow, which is why our totals in the valleys aren't going to be that significant tomorrow. Most of the bulk of this is out of our hair by the evening, but we'll find some scattered showers hours left over rolling through all the way through probably overnight. Then on Saturday, a lot drier. We'll have some sun, I think, at times, but there will be some lake effect showers that do appear at times for the northern half of our area on Saturday. Snow totals, I mentioned, pretty minimal in the Champlain Valley. I think you'll find an inch or two at the very most there, but obviously the mountains do come away with several inches from this snowstorm on Friday. Then on Saturday and Sunday, we're drier. Looks like a little bit cooler, but that cold, cold air doesn't really arrive until next week, and it will dip those temperatures and the possibility of some snow returns on Tuesday.